Run, you clever boy, and remember. That was the only quote I could actually remember her saying. And you know why? Clara Oswald was the worst New Who companion. For those of you who have got no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry, I'll explain. And then I'll give three reasons why Clara Oswald sucked. Right, so Doctor Who is a British sci-fi television program that starred in 1963. It had 26 seasons before it ceased production in 1989. There was also this TV film in 1996. The show was rebooted in 2005, that's why I'm referring to as New Who, with series 11 airing this October. The show is about an extraterrestrial time lord called the Doctor, who goes on epic adventures through time and space with a companion. Clara Oswald was one of those companions. She was the second companion to the 11th Doctor, and then continued on as the first companion to the 12th. She spanned from the second half of series 7 to the end of series 9. That will have to be good enough because I'm on time limit and, and I have to get on with my reasons now. Reason number one. Clara had a poorly conceived character arc. Clara as the Oswin Echo thing was great as a one-off character, and then the six episode story arc of the Impossible Girl was clever. But then after that mystery was solved, there was absolutely no reason to keep her. And yet, they did. She became a different character for Series 8. I mean, seriously, a school teacher? They completely just dropped the previous storyline. It was good riddance when they planned on having her leave after that season, but psych! She stayed on for a whole freaking next season. And the big problem with that was she didn't have enough substance to continue because, reason number two, Clara was a flat character. Clara had an annoying, shallow personality that never revealed any depth. Bubbly personality masking bossy control freak summed her up perfectly. After two and a half seasons, you'd think the writers would be able to, I don't know, show that she was actually a complex, multi-dimensional person underneath? Apparently not. The high regard in which the doctor held Clara was completely disproportionate to what she deserved. There is nothing within her characterization that proved her worthy of being his companion for that dang long. However, the blame can't be purely on the writer's inability to make Clara a round character. Fault must also be shared with reason number three. The person who portrayed Clara was sort of limited as an actor. Jenna Coleman is great and all, but she's merely decent at acting. She's got enough chops to do soap operas and mild TV dramas, but she hasn't got enough skill to generally portray the full range of emotions and true depth of character. You can always tell that she's acting the part, not simply being like how real actors can do. In conclusion, I gave some background context to the non Hoovians and then explained how the combination of shoddy storyline development, two-dimensional characterization, and using a limited actor resulted in making Clara Oswald suck. And therefore, she was the worst, thus far, new companion to the Doctor. Wow! That just about sums it up now, don't you think?